Hi guys, thanks for joining me and welcome to the Mums Makery Christmas in June special live event. We've got a couple of great shows for you today. So we should be coming to you live across Facebook and YouTube. So hello across the interwebs. I hope that um, you are all ready for a, a load of fun today. We've got, <laughs> we've got so much stuff. <laughs> I blame B. <laughs> I do. <laughs> she is, of course, with us, the lovely B, aka Flingo Face. And for those of you who uh, are not familiar with, <laughs> she's. <laughs> I'm getting the daggers now. She's like, really? After a year, are we not living that down? So, uh, for those of you who don't know, we do play a game of Flingo. It's one of the games that you do need to have purchased the event kit for. Um, but uh, it is a lot of fun as well. And in our very first broadcast, B pulled this face at me from behind the camera. And I was like, is that your Flingo face? And thus forever was she known as Flingo face. <laughs> event kit so um, as you may know that we do uh, an event kit it is purely optional you don't have to have the event kit to join in with us um, you can of course just join in with your own materials and just join in the fun there are of course a lot of giveaways that we do on the run-up to this event and they are in our Facebook group so if you haven't already and there is still time to join in um, these these giveaways if you haven't already then do head over to the Facebook group after the show the giveaways because we're now doing things slightly different the giveaways will now run until the end of today so you've still got time to join in uh, there is of course a boss bonus giveaway which we will be uh, announcing a little bit later on in the show so back to the event kit oh, I love this kit I love it. So, for those of you who haven't peaked, nice one. But most of you peak, and I know most of you peak, because you tell me you peak. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly run through what is in the kit. Um, we normally start out with a game of Flinger, but we're going to change things up a little bit today. The face from behind the camera's just gone, wait, what? <laughs> no, don't change things up, I have a list. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is I'm really super excited to bring you guys some of the new projects. So we're gonna run through the kit. We're gonna talk a little bit about the event. I'm gonna show you the, the products. Uh, now everything, all the existing um, festive stuff and all of the new festive projects will come out after the end of the first uh, sorry after the end of the second show so stick around with us you know we've got another broadcast at 3 p.m that's uk time and after that show has ended then everything gets launched on the website and we have got some phenomenal stuff for you today guys i'm so i could barely contain myself i was like i just want to i just want to do it <laughs> so in your kit bag if you have a kit bag um We've got, oh, 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 look at this. This is, oh, let's, let's get that on closer. So the first thing is you've got a beautiful um, shades, uh, so not shades, an autumn, no, it's not autumn. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong event, Sam. <laughs> you've got a lovely ombre uh, in the pink. We already do the blue. Um, but we, we decided to do a special pink version for the kit bag. So there's that in your kit. You have, of course, got, this is the fluff and stuff that you need for the first make. So that's the live make that we're going to be doing in this show. And if you don't have the kit, you can still join it. It's a completely free hand make. I feel like I should be down here. It's a completely free hand to make. So you can use your own materials. And if you want to know, uh, it's white, some flesh tones, some black and some red. There is a list on, I don't know why I'm doing this, hang on. 
So there is a list on um, the website. If you go to our website and um, click the projects, infos and downloads link, I think there is a, no, it's not that link. What link is it? Oh, it's calendar, broadcasts and events. And there's a calendar. And if you click on the link for today's event, it will take you to a page that tells you all about what we're doing throughout the day. And also it will give you a list of materials that I'm going to be using um, for the first live make in this show. We, we go back to the closer cam now. <laughs> so there's that. Then we've got, somebody's nicked my sweets. It was you, wasn't it, Hayley? I bet. So in here, you've got kit number two, and kit number two is for the second broadcast today. And that one's got, uh, got a template in it, so you will need to have had uh, the kit for that particular make. There, are some, there were some sweets. But the Pixies of Adam, for those of you who don't know, the makery is run by Pixies, most of whom just eat fudge all day. <laughs> Speaking of the Pixies, um, you guys will have, uh, there is a Pixie flittering around. So whether you're on Facebook or you're on YouTube, if you're on Facebook, you've got Picky, Pixie Nikki Preston. That one always gets me. Hi, Nikki. Say hi uh, to your chat group. And... On YouTube, you've got the lovely Pixie Haley Belsham, and you should also have one of the crew members, the Makery crew, which is Sarah Summerton. Now, those guys are there to answer your questions. Um, they will feed stuff through to Pixie B if you've got any questions that they can't answer, and then hopefully it will come through to me. So, right back to the back to the bag. We've got so much to get through. Um, you also have this lovely little accessories pack, and we'll get to uh, that in a bit. And, of course, for those of you who had the... Uh, there were two versions of the kit this time. Um, there was a standard version, and there was a... Um, with extras, and um, everybody had the with extras. <laughs> because with the with extras, you get the fluff. And you also got this surprise kit, and I am so excited about this kit, if you couldn't tell. So I'm just going to pop all of this back in my bag. Oh, and that one. I'll pop my candy cane over there. Okay, so stuff. Let's talk stuff for a minute. We have got such an amazing show for you today. Because it's our Christmas in June, all of our festive projects come back out for one month only. And of course, the lovely limited edition Douglas um, project. So you've got a white and a winter ombre. So there's two versions. The green, the original Douglas fern is available all year round. But the white and the winter do come out for this month only. They also return at proper Christmas, but for now, they will be out all month. Now, the, the Winter Ombra has uh, eight shades, which have been specifically blended and labelled, so you know exactly which um, wrap of fluff to use on what tier of your project. And um, it creates that beautiful ombra finish. Now, these are not only seasonal, but they are limited in number. So once they are gone, we won't be restocking them this year. Also back on the website, and this again will be after the second show has ended, we've got our lovely round of Robins kit. Uh, that's made with our basic birdie template. The absolutely wonderful little Merry Mistletoe kit, and this is one of my absolute favourites. Um, it's, so, it's a quick kit. The tutorial for it is on the YouTube channel, so you can check that out. Um, it's such a quick lovely little make and you can do a small sprig right up to a full kind of bunch next up of course we've got the christmas rose project is returning as well that will be available a little later today and of course that classic poncettia project which is available in not only a single version but a triple for those of you who like a bigger bush <laughs> I'm sorry, my brain went, no, don't say that, right as the words left my mouth. 
<laughs> could be worse. I said fluffy bottom on live telly. <laughs> she's over there, she's like, oh, it's all going downhill. Of course, and finally, the Ponsettia Pixie is back. And uh, for those of you uh, who have just joined us or uh, haven't seen this particular project before, again, it's seasonal and it is limited in number. So what that means is we bring out so many per year and once they are gone, um, they are gone. So all of this, again, as I said, will be uh, coming a little bit later on. Uh, on the website that is after the second show not this show but the one at three um oh should we do some new stuff she I can't, <laughs> I can't see her now she's just like behind her computer <laughs> she's doing a mexican wave we still have to work on these hand signals <laughs> should we do it let's do a new thing let's do a new thing i think and Let's start with that. Reverse needles will now be available on the website. They do come in two um, gauges. You've got a coarse and a fine. I want to say the coarse is a 36 and the fine is a 40 gauge needle. I think it does uh, or it will tell you on the actual listing. Um, those for those of you who watched the needle felt the original needle felt in uk festival uh, we made fluffs and that was using uh, a reverse needle felt um, a reversed felting needle uh, they are on a separate listing so they are on the, they're not on the same listing i believe as our um, regular needles but when they go live you'll be able to find them any problems just hit up a pixie we also have a new launch of a snowflake template and this is just, I love this template. It's a bit fiddly, I'm not gonna lie, it takes a little bit of patience, but the results are absolutely amazing. And let's just chat for a second about the Duggies. Now the Duggies, I will tell you, there are no new Duggies this year. And I know a lot of you have just gone, yay! <laughs> the Douglas Fern project, I mean, it's a whopper of a project. It's one of those things that you do a bit, you know, a bit at a time. However, um, we were having a bit of fun not so long back in, in chat. And I decided that it would be quite funny if we did a couple of badges. <laughs> and again, these will be on the website later. Um, and some of you embrace the Douglas Fern um, wholeheartedly and they, they, you've posted pictures and it's absolutely stunning. So for you guys, there is a ve or there will be available on the website a Dougie Doer badge. But for those of you, Sarah, you know who I'm talking to, yeah. Who dodged the Dougie at every given turn. <laughs> There is the Dougie Dodger badge as well. So you can you can pick up one, the other. You can do both if you want. <laughs> but um, I just thought it would be a, a bit of fun because it's one of those projects that, um, you know, it, it really is uh, a labour of love. So as there's not a Dougie this year, what, what I decided to do was bring out a Dougie decal set. And... The Dougie decal set is, it's a miniature, <clears throat> let me see if I can find my Dougies under here. It, they're, they're a miniature, oh, that went on the floor. And what it makes is a lovely little set of, um, sort of decorations, I guess, for your Dougie. And... Of course, there is just so many other things that you can do with them as well. Um, here we've got some on a couple of coasters. There's that, look at this, how sweet is this? This is also using our bookmark template. And, oh, random gingerbread man. Here's a card. And just look at the colours, they're just so beautiful. So, you know, it's obviously it's not just for the Dougie, but 
There's a couple of little gingerbread men earrings. And for those of you who can see, obviously there's this set here, jewellery set that's been made. And so much versatility with this little set. And they are miniature. There's no real weights and measures to them, I'm afraid to say. <laughs> It's what I would suggest whenever you're doing anything, um, if you make one and you think that's, that's it, nailed it, just get yourself that pocket scale, weigh out your um, wall. I am going to briefly tell them what is over there that I appear to be lacking um, a pocket scale. So we'll throw up a splash screen before we start the first make and I'll leg it over there and get, get a pocket scale. So, um, Dougie decor set done, splendid. Right, let's let's jump in and make our game, or let's do our game of Flingo now. So, for those of you who are um, who have a kit, um, I don't need it yet. Thanks. Um, for those of you who have a kit, in the kit you will have a Flingo card and a raffle ticket, and. The rules of Flingo, it's very simple. You must cross off all 10 of the colours on your card. When you have, you must type in Flingo into whatever live chat you're in, whether you're on Facebook or YouTube. Now, Pixie B has a special little app and she, and she plays Overlord, I mean Overwatch. <laughs> I'm about to get the scales at velocity. <laughs> Um, and she will be monitoring the chats for the people who call out. So obviously if you're in YouTube and somebody on Facebook calls out, you won't see it, but she will. And it will be the first two people to call out. Um, once two people have called out, we will end the game. If you have called out, please email a picture of your Flingo card along with your details to makerypixies at gmail.com. And if you need that, you can always uh, just ask the, one of the pixies to send you that email address um, in the chat. So what I will do is I will call out the colours. As I call out the colours, they should come up in that screen. Do bear in mind that there is uh, like about a 10, 15 second delay um, between what I'm doing here and what's happening. So I don't know, I, it might come up where is it? It's over there. It might come up on there before I've even said it. <laughs> but we'll give it a go. So all, um, you must cross off all 10 on your Flingo card. Type Flingo into whatever chat you are in. And providing your Flingo card um, is correct, then what we will do is we will send you the first five colours on your Flingo card. So you get a 10 gram ball of each of those five colors. So, eyes down, look in. <laughs> Let's get the close up camera going. Here we go, right. So the first one is French blue. I'm gonna power through these quite quickly. So get your proper bingo head open. <laughs> Pete, so Pete does the typing in there and he's like, no, don't do it quick. <laughs> the second one, we're staying with the blues, bright blue. The next one is oop, royal purple. Of course, all the blues and purples, look at this, violet. Big mix up. Dark brown. Spring green. Chocolate. You can almost hear the concentration. Flesh tone, and that's just coming from Pete. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
and then we've got pink. bright green it's like the, the most fastest superchargedest game of flingo ever white <laughs> it's just i know everything i've got to get through in the show <laughs> fox <laughs> burnt orange Emerald. I do like emerald. So once we've done um, this game of Flingo, I think I might make some pixie squeal. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> the next one is lichen. Followed by black. Next up, we have light purple. And we have chinchilla, the one that Pete can't spell. <laughs> Deep purple. Did he spell it right? Did he spell it right? Did he? Yes, he did. Well done. You're on sticker. <laughs> did you? <laughs> Candy floss. <laughs> I feel that there may be projectiles coming at me any minute. So all of a sudden you see this. <laughs> Dusky pink is your next one. Pastel blue. Autumn green. Sugar plum. Oh, I forgot to mention the, um, oh no, I'll tell you later. <laughs> Cranberry. I like cranberry. I think the cranberry is my favourite red. Get off. There we go. Hot pink. We've got to be nearing a winner now. We've not got that many colours left. Damson. Did 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 the typing get away from you there, Pete? <laughs> Sugar problem. Cranberry. Ho! Oh! You couldn't, you couldn't script it. You couldn't write this, could you? No. Okay. Right. We we got the hot pink though. Yes. Okay. Good. Next one up is natural cotton. See, I just want to add some colours to the range, just to com and give them the just the most horriblest names ever. So you've got to sit there and type. <laughs> Storm is your next one. I right, feel the pressure now. We're going to pick up the pace. Warm brown. Next one is ginger. Mouse. Sticking with the M's, magenta. Deep green. Lilac. Leaf green. Oh, we've got a flingo. We've got our oh, first Emma. one. Emma. Hi, Emma. Which Emma? There's... Um... Hi, Emma. Congrats on the flingo. 
Email a picture of your Flingo card to uh, makerypixies at gmail.com, please. We will carry on until we get a second caller. We just did leaf green. Sand is your next one. Followed by Arctic Grey. Fuchsia. Followed by Wine. Flingo. And we have we have a second Flingo winner or second Flingo caller. Who who is it? Angela Miller. Angela, congrats, Angela and Emma. Uh, you guys are our Flingo caller outers. Do I need to keep this pile of um, ones that I've called out separate for you, B? She's no, like, got them all. You sure? Yeah. I'm going to oh, keep them separate sorry. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to put these. Where am I going to put these? I need space. I'm going to put these down here. These are all the ones that I've called out. Just in case. There we go. Right. Okay, so. As I mentioned in, um, in the Flingo game. Oh, I'll make some pixie squeal <laughs> because they don't know this is coming. <laughs> and you, now you can just, they've all gone, wait, what? Why don't we know? <laughs> because pixie B is also sneaky. She's a sneaky bee. <laughs> and um, what we have is, um, no, I don't need that yet. Um, what we have is a little surprise, as much for the pixies um, as you guys. And this has been a bit of a labour of love. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so if you are in the vicinity of a pixie, uh, you might want to stick your fingers in your ears. Pixie Shimmers. We now uh, are absolutely delighted to bring you Pixie Shimmers. Um, and this one is the Christmas edition. So there are five um, absolutely gorgeous colours. And there's silver, red, purple, gold and green. And this is the same stuff that we make with um we make the frost with I just went over there and got my got my scales <laughs> excuse me so these are shimmers they're not it's not angelina it's not that coarse sparkly stuff this felt beautifully and like I said, it's the same stuff we use in our frost, but we have been um, dyeing them. We dye these ourselves. So these have been dyed uh, to match our wool colours or some of our wool colours. And they look a little dull under this light, I'm afraid. But... That's the red, and the red um, goes very nice with our cranberry. This is the green. Look at that green. Oh, my goodness. It's so soft as well. And that one goes beautifully with our deep green, which is a very Christmassy colour. Check out this purple. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. And that one goes very nice with our deep purple. The gold is just absolutely stunning. It's such, I don't know if the cameras are doing this justice. 
and then of course finally there's silver and that one blends beautifully with uh, arctic grey or chinchilla this one uh, harvest gold um, for the gold but the they do come in a pack of five and the that is probably a more accurate representation of the sparkle when the light hits it we we were fortunate enough to have a very lovely um, day weather wise yesterday I mean, mind you, we're doing Christmas in June. It's like a bajillion degrees outside at the moment. <laughs> but they shimmer. So it adds, if any of you have ever used our frost, that is what um, this is. So you will get that same kind of look. You get five grams of uh, each of the colours. Um, and five grams will probably mix quite nicely into a full 50 gram bat. So uh, that's the sort of ratio that we've used with frost. It's uh, about 10, 10%, I want to say 10%. Is that right? She's staring at her phone. You're paying Candy Crush again. <laughs> She's like, no, I've got a different game now, actually. I'm doing really well. <laughs> so... It, oh, it's just, it's so soft. I want to say I wish we could have, you know, like you can, people say, oh, wouldn't it be good if we could have smell -a vision And then my brain went, wouldn't it be great if we could have feely cam? And then it, it just, <laughs> that's, that's no. She's like, oh, no. <laughs> it's just, I can't, I can't get, I can't describe how beautifully, beautifully soft this is. But, yeah, look at those colours. And that is going to add a bit of shimmery sparkle to your makes. Um, like I said, the red, cranberry, the green, deep green, or emerald, actually. I think it would go quite nice with emerald as well. Um, we've got the gold, we'll go with the harvest gold. Silver, we'll go with either arctic grey or chinchilla and the... Which one have I missed? Purple will go with very nicely with our deep purple. You can, of course, mix them with any colour you like. <laughs> Pictures on a postcard. <laughs> okay, so, Pixie B, what we doing now? She's like, mm. She's like, I don't know about you, I'm playing Candy Crush. A make. A make, yes. Oh, oh hang on. I forgot. I have to put my, um, for, for those of you who know, Sarah Summerton randomly sends me weird stuff. Such, uh, such creations as Boopra Fish. I love Boop. Boopra Fish is actually down there. Boop is her budgie, who isn't called Boop, it's called Ludo. <laughs> I call him Boop. <laughs> but I have my, hang on, I have my special... Santa Booper Bopper, Santa Booper Boppers, <laughs> Santa Booper Dealy Boppers, which apparently I have to wear. So I don't know how long I'll be able to wear them for, but there we go. Okay, I feel I feel ready for my make now. <laughs> right. So for those of you, <laughs> let me get the scales. <laughs> For those of you who um, who aren't familiar, um, we use or I use a pocket scale and you can get them on Amazon and eBay and places like that. I believe the Pixies can um, throw you up a link in your various chats and um, it just helps you weigh out those small increments of wool for... Um, your projects <laughs> my brain was like finish the sentence then push the button and my finger was like no <laughs> I had sugar this morning <laughs> oh 
Oh my goodness, you stuck this down, didn't you? Package things well. So if you want to get your kit, if you have a kit, kit number one, which is that one. I don't have a bin. Uh-oh. Okay. In kit number one, you've got cranberry, white, uh, flesh tone, and black. There's the colours there. And if I've done my job right, the weights and measures should be on the screen. <laughs> so what we're, oh, let me show you what we're making. That'll probably help, wouldn't it? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. We're going to be making this guy. And I put him on this um, bit of gold um, thread. Uh, which, if you've got the kit, you'll find that this is this thread's in your accessories pack. And you've got enough fluff to make at least three of these little guys. And and we all know that my making stuff on live telly doesn't go well. <laughs> but that's okay. So, I've got my pocket scale, and as according to weights and measures over there i mean obviously this is just to make um to make one this size i don't <laughs> i've been very remiss this morning um because i haven't got my felting trolley or anything <laughs> mental note to self make sure we've got it for the next one so i'm going to weigh out two grams of this fluff and again it's it's an idea it's a nod you know you don't have to use um, exact weights and then what I'm going to do is the tighter you roll it to start with the less you've got to stab so I'm just going to bring it in to about what's that couple of inches inch and a half about inch and a half we think <laughs> yeah Pete if you're in the front room and watching <laughs> could you please bring me my felting trolley <laughs> or rather a rule that's in my felting trolley thank you <laughs> he's probably not watching he's probably playing um, that game on the PlayStation he's, he's done his job so I'm just doing some very light stabs. Yeah, it's really bringing this round. I'm using my 40 spiral. Let's move that out of the way because it's commandeering focus. And all you're going to do is work this down into a cone shape. I'm going to do this so badly. I think I've figured out what, I mean, for those of you who watched the... Um, Bat pig sheep carnage that was my spring lamb. <laughs> I'm going to go up a needle to my um, 38 spiral because this I think this just needs a bit of bit of faster felting. Um, I think it's it's because obviously I'm I have to, I stop and I chat and I've got you know click things on on the computer and do <laughs> so, let's just say that my full focus is not perhaps on my make <laughs> not like when I'm doing a tutorial if the pixies have um have finally come down off of the ceiling from seeing the sh oh, I should have blended some of the shimmer in with this oh well that's fine um, then yes, Pixies, I have a pack of the Pixie Shimmers for you all. Just one pack, you've got to <laughs> divide it up amongst yourselves. <laughs> no, of course we have, um, we have a pack for you all because you're all so lovely. The Pixies do a, an amazing job in the makery. Um, 
they're always flitting about and doing stuff and they're super helpful. Such a noise, did you? I don't know if that, that probably came out. There's a motorbike that's just gone up the road, so loud. So I perhaps didn't um, felt uh, wrap this as tightly as I could have, but that's okay. We will just felt on. And all we're looking to do is create a cone. So I've got a bit more fluff down in this end than I've got up in that end. Could you tell me, Nikki, what colour the 38 spiral is? Uh, the 38 spiral is the purple top. I've now just switched to my 36 star, um, which is my uh, cream or white top. And this is a beast of a needle. Um, it's very, it's really good for um, 3D fast felting your core. I am, of course, working on my flat mat with my felt topper. And what I'm doing is I'm felting to the middle of the project. You don't want to be coming out the side because um, we all know what you get if you felt out the other side of your project. You get a fluffy bottom. <laughs> oh. Sarah messaged me afterwards. Did you realise you said fluffy bottom on live telly? I was like, damn. <laughs> my brain often sees the train wreck that my mouth is about to make. <laughs> oh, dear. So all we're going to do is, and I haven't got one that I prepared earlier, so this is, this is going to be so rushed. Mine is going to look so unfinished. But uh, there will be a show and share um, in the Facebook group. So if you aren't already, um, after the show, head over to our Facebook group. That's facebook.com slash groups slash mums makery. And um, there will be a show and share um, post that Pixie Haley will put in group. And she'll mark it as an announcement. So if you can't find it, just go to the announcement section and um, you'll be able to find it all there. The, the Pixie giveaways are also um, in the announcement section as well. And there will be a boss bonus giveaway. I feel that I'm doing a lot of jumping about. <laughs> the boss bonus giveaway um, the post for that will go live in the group. I think it's going to go live in between the shows. I, I've set it um, to schedule. Um, I've set it to schedule uh, because obviously I'm usually on air. But so if you, um, what's the boss bonus giveaway? It's a snowball fight. I thought, let's start a snowball fight. <laughs> and all you have to do for the boss bonus giveaway is there is a link to a page on the, on the, the website um, where you register. And you only have to register once. Um, all of the draws will be done from, um, from that list. And, and that's for all the Pixie giveaways. So once you've registered, you've registered for them all. Then you just go to each individual post in the Facebook group and um, join in with whatever theme um, that post is. And when the boss bonus giveaway appears, uh, you just have to um, put a picture of a snowball or a gif of a snowball or we're just going to have a big snowball fight, which I thought would be fun. So I'm still sort of um, refining this. I'm still on my 38, no, my 36 star. And what I've done is I've given him a flat base just by the wool will go the way you point the needle. 
So what I've done with this bit is just pointed my needle that way and given him a flat base. And you can see that we're starting to get that really nice uh, sort of cone shape. And I would spend a lot longer <laughs> on the refinement of this than I am currently. So I'm, I'm still on my, my 36 star, and then I would go up to my 38 spiral, and then uh, finish off with my 40 spiral. And again, just using the tip of the needle, where are we, overhead, just using the tip of the needle and use your, you know, use your finger as a stop and keep turning it. Give it a little bit of a roll, smooth it out and just see where it needs refinement. Turn it round and go with the base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you guys carry on refining yours down whilst we can chat um, and then I'll pick this back up. Mine will be nowhere near firmly felted. <laughs> Told you some felting. <laughs> She's like, nope. <laughs> no. I just, it's really rough. I should have made one. I should have made a base last night and had it all ready, but it's fine. And now comes the inherent fiddling. Right, leave it alone. Okay, so what we're going to do is, <gasps> yes. So for those of you who, you, let's face it, you can't miss it. Uh, let's put on that one. Yes, there we go. So look at, look at this, hang on, which one am I going? That way. How sweet is this? Um, we do a sponsored make and um, Suzanne, oh, is it Suzanne Morgan? The Pixies will confirm said name of said sponsored maker. I just call it, I just know her Suzanne. Um, oh my God, oh my God. Just look at this. Look at this, let's see if, let's see if the overhead camera does any. Look, it's so sweet. And this is a um, Arctic hare. <laughs> and it, oh, it's just, it's so lovely. Look, look, a bit of dun, dun, da glitter. <laughs> but look, look at those facial features and the softness of the ears and the blending out. It's, it's such, I mean, it's, oh God, it's just lovely. <laughs> Absolutely love it. It's such a beautiful make. And once a quarter, um, Mum's Makery sponsors an artist with the materials and stuff to make a thing. I feel that it needs to be on the closer camera look. And this is our Christmas in June special make. So gorgeous. It was Suzanne Morgan. Hi, Suzanne. <laughs> so, just a oh, stunning, stunning make. And let's see, let's put it over there. Oh, gosh, you can tell it's like, I don't know, 28 degrees outside. Feels like it. I feel like I need air con. I'm just going to stand over there with a big fan. I got your fan right here, mate. <laughs> God, these things <laughs> just... <laughs> you, you know how you get that extra little... Because you can, you can feel them wobble. Yeah, you can see them wobbling. Yeah. Like, you know, That's oh, brilliant. I love it. It's starting to work my head, though. Right. The prize for the giveaways, the boss bonus giveaways, the draw will be done by the system that you register on. Um... And the winners 
because there's Pixie Sue's got a giveaway, Pixie Haley's got a giveaway, um, Pixie Nikki, the crew have a giveaway, and of course I have a giveaway. And check these out. Pixie Haley's mom. Hi, Pixie Haley's mom. <laughs> Made these lovely, and they're lined and everything, drawstring bags. And we're going to fill them with fluff for you. So you'll probably, um, this, this is the Pixie giveaway. We're going to fill those with fluff. And, oh, they're just, they're lovely. Look. And there's, there's one with the dog on it, snowflakes, reindeers, doves, I want to see doves, I think those are doves, and more doves. I think maybe the boss bonus giveaway should be the dog one, given that the boss is my chihuahua who hopefully will be making a special little dressed up appearance in the second half. <laughs> I've been plying him with treats and biscuits. <laughs> right, let's do something else new. Whilst you guys are um, refining your coon shape. Um, we did the Dougie de little mini Dougie decals. We are, this, this is such a fun thing. Santa boots. We love Santa boots. And there are five sizes. Small, medium, large, extra large, and of course, your jumbo. And they can be purchased individually, or you can purchase them as um, a combo deal. Uh, which is obviously slightly discounted. And there are some examples of some cards that have been made. Um, but the they're so versatile. Um, here are the here are the templates. Actually, you've just seen the templates. You don't need to see them again. Let's get to the good stuff. <laughs> So here are um, the five sort of Santa boots and I mean they just make great little hanging decorations in themselves. Um, if some of you remember that from last year um, the Winter Woolly set we did a, um, oh here they are, the mitten from the set we did as a um, little pouch to hold some sweeties and you know if you're doing craft stalls um, you know or you're selling your crafts online what a gorgeous little make um, and now obviously there's the boot as well and lots of different colours there so you know the the boot is just such a fab um, all-round make. Now, here's some that have been added to some little gift cards or gift tags. So, you know, just a final little embellishment. You can just put some cord on them, have them um, hang from a tree like a little ornament themselves. There's just so much that you can do with these. Absolutely lovely. And I love this, look at this. Santa boots <laughs> going down the chimney. What a great make. So, you know, just think outside of the box with the, with the sort of templates as well. And you don't have to use them. Here's one that's been made into, um, you know, felted to, and the weights and measures, again, will be on. Um, oh, we've lost the, hold on. Sorry. <laughs> lost the weights and measures there. Um, so, you know, you can, there's one that's up here that's actually been cut out of felt and um, then blanket stitched around the edges. And it says bar humbug. 
me put those down there a minute. <sighs> okay. Um, just trying to we. <gasps> oh, let's show you this one as well. This one's obviously from the Dougie Decal set. But look, this, these antlers, you can make from the template what is in the second make kit. Uh, but we'll get to that later on. And then we've got a Dougie um, decal set stocking there. And of course, this is our um, bunny template. Uh, I believe this is the small smallest of the three. Well, actually, there's five of those as well, but this is the smallest one. And of course, the bunny's got a little Rudolph, Rudy nose. And there's so, ooh, there's so many things that you can do to sort of interchange um, the templates. Don't just use part or the whole template for the job that it is for. Use part of the template to make elements to add to another thing. <laughs> These things are really wobbly. <laughs> and of course, Oh, you can't see it because it's behind the thing. I'll show you later. Because <laughs> it's right there. And it's got a boot on it. And it's one of those things that you um, put on a... It's on a stand, which I might add is covered in glitter. Thanks. So, yes, the boots. We have boots. Um, that's another new project. And, again, all the new projects will be coming out... Um, after the second show. So I'm going to go back to my make now and we're going to do the next little element to this. And what we're going to do is, it's, it's so rough. <laughs> You'll spend much more time on yours. <laughs> I'm just trying to get him a little flat bit so I can put his face on. So all I'm going to do for this bit now is it's 0.05 of a gram. So even if you've got a pocket scale, it can be um, problematic to get 0.05. Let's see if I can get that. There we go. So what you do is you weigh out too much. Weigh out 0.1 of a gram. Then take your 0.1 and just rough it in half and that will get that wasn't half <laughs> there we go just rough it in half and that will give you your um your 0.05 or thereabouts and i'm going to take my lightest needle now if you've got something which has a teeny tiny circle oh no <laughs> okay <clears throat> Santa make take two. Flesh tone, not white. I don't know. I was looking at his, his beard and his moustache and um, skipping over the fact that he doesn't have a face. <laughs> oh, it's it's going to be one of them shows. So um, 0 0.05 for the face. So again, just 0 0.1. And sort of rough it in half. Decide which part you want your face on and I don't know what's that probably about a 20 mil circle I think there or thereabouts. Um, if you feel your Santa's a bit sort of you know he hasn't got the Santa podge. <laughs> then you can always add a little bit more wool, but I'm just going to crack on. Mine's a little bit thin and he hasn't quite got enough um, podge on his belly, but we're going to go with it. So all I'm going to do is I've just sort of folded back around the edges and we're just going to start by drawing out a circle lightest needle first barb only and just get that sort of circle shape and if you've got a little circle template then 
you can absolutely use that just there. I'm just going to go round. And if you remember what I said about the needle, the wool will go the way you point the needle. So I've got this little bit sort of stuck out down here and I want it to go over this way. So I'm just going to point my needle and I'm going to go round on an angle. And just give myself a bit of an overly or round sort of face shape. First barb on the needle. And just start sort of flattening it down. All over. Yes, because the finished Santa is way better than the one that I'm making. <laughs> oh, how quickly you turn on me. <laughs> I'll put the finished one. I'll, I'll sort of move him about as we're doing. So once you've got your... I didn't make this one. You made this one, didn't you? B made this one. Maybe you should come do this. Do you, want to, do you want to take my boppers off? Yes, I do want to take my boppers off. Thank you, Sarah. I love the boppers, but ow. <laughs> okay, so. Once you've got your little face on, what you're then going to do is we're going to add his little nose and his little nose is about 0 0.05 again. So I'm going to take the other bit of wool from the 0 0.1 and just roll it up into a ball. And again, all I'm really doing here is showing you the techniques. Um, once you've got a little ball, mine is going to be so unfinished. I'm just going to tack it down in the centre of his face and then again I'm on my lightest needle, my 40 spiral and I'm just going to go round and felt it down into a little ball, into a little nose. really get some sort of definition and sort of separation between his nose and his face. He's got a very distinct little snoz. And again, I'm just touching it with that first barb on the needle. So that we don't leave those sort of pit holes in his nose. There. That'll do it for me, I think. Um, now his eyes, there is no weight. <laughs> it is a few hairs. Um, you want to make an eye which is slightly bigger than the finished point because you will lose some of the wool. There. And then roll up the other eye. I felt it. So you've got two that are about the same. My <laughs> Santa's looking very worried. <laughs> He's like, no. <laughs> Okie dokie. I think that will do for now. Now what we're going to do is just put in this um, white uh, band and black band 
Now to make a straight line, I've demonstrated this technique before, but for those who are just joining us for the first time, draft yourself off, um, there, draft yourself off um, a very thin amount of wool and give it a roll. Then, what we're going to do is just anchor it down and as you go round you're going to twist the wool so just give it a bit of a twist we're going to make the white band a little bit wider and this is a good opportunity obviously to neaten up um, your edge on your sort of flesh tone. And you won't really see this bit because we're going to put a moustache and stuff there, but and go round. Round a little bit more and then come back across to the top and because I don't have my felting trolley I don't have a pair of scissors <laughs> so I'm just going to bring this back around again until I've used up the last sort of staple length of that wool I'll just lose it under there in his moustache so there's your white band. You can go round it with a. He looks my my Santa looks boss eyed. <laughs> my my spring sheep look traumatized, and my Santa looks boss eyed. I don't know. Right, but okay, oh just <laughs> he looks like he's doing a Popeye. <laughs> He's also got a bit of a bigger nose. So I'm going to felt that down a little bit more as well. There we go. Right. So I'm not going to bother putting the black band round because that's just more time. But you can put a black band round. And if you're going to do that, um, draft off an even thinner piece and twist it quite a bit more as you're going round. And that will give you a much sort of cleaner, thinner line. Okay. So moustache. The, um, the tash again is 0 0.05, so I'm going to weigh off, <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> Apparently Donna's, Donna Santa looks like Miss Piggy. That's all right. We should do a whole separate show and share for the ones that don't quite come out right. <laughs> it's a good idea. Use green and uh, and you can make a little co um, cone elf. Ah, thank you, Ashley. Excellent idea. If you've got the kit, there is green in the surprise kit, which we'll get to the surprise kit in a minute because it's awesome. Right, so I've got... I want to say I've got 0 0.1 and I did just weigh it out and I forgot, but no, it's fine. <laughs> so what we're going to do is make his little moustache shape and his little moustache shape is sort of a bit, it's sort of just basically like a raindrop shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold, I'm going to fold it and just give myself a shape. Just start giving myself a shape. And this is, I don't know if this is coming out. So when I have to sort of do a bit of a freehand shape, I kind of rough it with the wool and then stab right through into your mat and draw the shape that you want. Then with it still sort of attached to your mat, bring over those sides and felt down. 
and then bring over those sides and felt down. And because you've sort of gone right through to your mat, I mean, you don't want it permanently stuck. You will get, a, it will sort of hold it so you can fold those fibres back and it will give you a bit of a cleaner edge. Now this bit down here, I just want to sort of come to a point and then whatever we do with this one, we need to make a matching one. So, and proffer it up. Oh, that's way too big. That's more like his beard size rather than his tash size. So I'm going to bring this down, bring it in and make this smaller. Give it a bit of a roll. And if you make one um, and you think, oh, that's, that's absolutely great, weigh it. This may be too small, but so I think I just wandered off camera then. There, there's his, my little bally bit, still a bit big. Once you've made the first one, it's a lot easier then to make the second one. you've got sort of a shape to work to I'm gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna make one tash and then move on to his beard um, you can just draw the tash on if you want to but so just proffer it up obviously the middle bit goes right underneath the middle bit of his nose and then you are using a driving technique and you just want to catch the edge. And get that down in place and then you can shape it in place. Actually, I'm going to felt it all over. So there's sort of one, one half of his tash. Um, I will do another one, but I'm aware of the time. So to finish off his, um, his beard, which I've just, it's the joys of doing it on the fly, isn't it? completely forgot you want to put the beard on first <laughs> I'm pretty sure that that's what the hand signals from B was trying to tell me but trying to watch what I'm doing and watch what she was doing was a bit problematic <laughs> oh my goodness right so what we're going to do is we're going to put his tash on first, his beard on first so I'm just going to felt around that line right under his nose And just get that beard attached. And you know, there's a nice bit, big bit of fluffy there. So you can, if you want, just leave it fluffy or give it a little bit of sculpting. And again, just draw in that shape that you want. Give his beard a little bit of a, a squiggle. And then this is this is not a good tash at all. I think I might have used too much wool in his tash. I think I measured out 0 0.1 and then didn't separate it out properly. But anyway, one tash that side. You know what? Let's just put him to the other. <laughs> Let's just put him over there. So one tash on that side, one tash on that side. Um, I'll fix his face during the break. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
And there you go. There's your... Here is one what we made earlier. <laughs> there. And then, again, you can use your um, gold thread if you've got the kit. Um, and... You know, give him something to hang on. And there's, like I said, there's enough fluff in there to make um, at least three of them, I think. And so, Pixie Haley will put a show and share in the um, Facebook group. So, do come and share your makes. Um, there'll be one for the second make as well. That'll be a separate um, post. But do come and share your, your, your makes. Um, especially the ones that don't look right. <laughs> okay, so um, in your, I'm going to talk very quickly about another part of the kit. There are two live makes in, um, in the kit bag, but there's also a surprise, um, special surprise pack. And This one is, I love this. If you want to open this now, if you haven't already, <laughs> in the surprise kit, which you only get in the, um, the version of the kit that is with extras, I think there are, is that gone? Yeah. Um, I think there are a couple of, um, I think there are a couple of the event kit bags left um very very few though so um if you don't have one and you do want one there is still a chance uh to get one but the template for the surprise make is the santa hat and the santa hat <laughs> makes these look at these down here santa stop here um, you get the, the little chalkboard and there's a little stand in there and we've even put a piece of chalk in there because the idea is, I'm going to wreck the set now, no, <laughs> the idea is that this sort of little kit or this project produces um, a little countdown to Christmas and You've got your little stand in there as well to put it on. And then the chalk, you just obviously count the days down to Christmas. And the hat makes a hat which goes on there. Now, in your accessories pack, you've also got a little jingle bell, which makes a little jingle bell. The weight of wool for this hat is, I believe, 0 0.5, uh, 0 0.6 of a gram. I think it's 0 0.5 and obviously if you want you can make two of them join them together make them in red and white and have that sort of classic Santa hat but then in the kit you've got the um, you've got bright red white and um, bright green so you can do elf hats you can do Santa hats um, and if I oh, Trying to put that on the tree and it's falling out. <laughs> but have a look at this one. We've even catered for the humbuggers of you. Look at this. Bah humbug. <laughs> She's being really mean to me. Is, is it because I said bah humbuggers? Yeah. What's wrong with that? because I said buggers, isn't it? I'm allowed to say that. That's not a bad word. <sighs> Got the, can I, yes, I can absolutely show you all the humbug stuff. Hold on. Um, let me just tidy up a minute. <laughs> I'm getting all in her tears now because she's laughing at me. I thought I'd made up a word again. <laughs> they do this to me. The pixies afterwards i get a full critique on the show along with a complete dictionary of all of the words that i had made up during said show or all the things that i'd said that were perhaps um 
vocabulary dubious. <laughs> it's my mature and considered response. <laughs> right. Also in your little accessories kit, you've got a pipe cleaner, um, candy cane pipe cleaner. And I haven't had a chance to stick this on a log. Um, but we did a um, candy cane spring sheep. And I don't want to take them off of there because <laughs> if I take them off the set, the, <laughs> the whole tree will go. But look, there's another one there. There's another one there. And um, the hats are the little Santa hats on the sheep, I believe, are from the doggy decals as well. But let's get back to the bar humbug stuff. We've got some bar humbug boots. Uh, <laughs> The actual humbug, this one, this is our, um, our humbug craft and, oh, the sheep's gone. The, <laughs> this is our um, craft and noon make for this month. We will be making, um, we will be making a humbug. Yeah, he's got a friend. And the PDF is coming soon, yes. Um, there is a pattern for how big I hurt, you know, the, the body and everything is. So the humbug kit, it's under craft and noon kits on the website, this one. So um, when you when you search for it, search for craft and noon kits. Um, but yeah, so we will be making humbugs at our at our craft and noon. So those are the humbugs. Obviously, we've got that bar humbug chalkboard with um, with the Santa hat there. So you've got humbugs, and then this one is supposed to be a bar humbug. <laughs> and again, it was the the technique from the Craftanoon. I want to say March March Craftanoon, where we made the spring lamb, and that's how we did um, that's how we did those techniques. So I will attempt to put these back over here. The little bell in the kit is uh, no, it's for it's for adding to one of your little Santa hats. Um, I, did, I literally just have one in my hand. Uh, there it is. It's in the accessories pack. So it's the clear little snowflake. Um, clear little snowflake. And then you can add it to an elf hat um, or, or, you know, whatever you want. And we've got some absolutely amazing little chalkboards. Um, and this one's got a Pixie Haley's giveaway. Let's talk about that because I just saw Naughty and her... <laughs> Don't know why that made me think of her. <laughs> so, um, her giveaway was uh, for having, you have to choose whether to put her on the naughty or the nice list. I think the nices are winning, which I'm shocked. Somebody did say, can't we have a cheeky list? <laughs> um Another little chalkboard. I'll sort of chop and change about as I'm randomly pulling things off of the set. So, you know, a little um, name placeholder with a little hat. Um, there's, just, there's just so many things that you can do um, with this. We have actually got one over here which says that there are 203 days left to go to Christmas. Thanks for that. Okay, so that's the humbugs. What else, Pixie B? Um, we've the, I think it's two today. We do need to do two. Well, we're going to talk about that. You've got a couple of um, snippets. Uh, one thing I will just very quickly mention is 
um, we are doing or going live on the website is a little wooden stand and <laughs> dun, dun, dun. these are great for the little pixies um, I've only got a certain amount of these um, but I know a couple of people or a few people last year asked me about stands for the pixies um, this comes with a hole pre-drilled at the back but of course you can drill an extra hole in the center if you want it central um, and I would use a four mil drill bit for that let me put that back on there so there will be some little stands coming as, as well um, Pixie Haley's giveaway we've got one I believe we've got one more new project to show you but we're going to do a couple of the little uh, Pixie giveaways at the moment Pixie Haley um, her giveaway which is over on Facebook um, in our Facebook group and her giveaway was you just have to basically say if you put her on the naughty or the nice list you lot are so nice that's all I'm saying Oh, does she now? Alison apparently would put Haley on the nice list because Haley does a good job of keeping me under control. And Mel thinks that she should be on the nice list, but it's borderline. <laughs> And Marty thinks that she should be on the nice list because she's so helpful. They don't see her in the morning pre-fudge. That's all I'm saying, people. It's, it's, it's a whole different Hayley. And Tracy thinks that she should be on the naughty list because who wants to be on the nice list? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, one of the other Pixie giveaways that we were doing, let's do Pixie Sue. What was Pixie Sue's giveaway? I think it's, is it, they've got to change the name, they've got to change the name of a, yeah, you've got to change the name of a song or a film and replace one word with the word pixie. Oh God, <laughs> the 12 days of pixies. Caroline thinks walking in a pixie wonderland. Yeah. Donna says, last Christmas, I gave you a pixie. <laughs> and Donna says, last Christmas, I gave you a pixie. No, last Christmas, I got two and they haven't left yet. <laughs> and the last one is, how much is that pixie in the window? So don't forget, um, that was Pixie Sue's giveaway. And there are, or there is still time to enter all of the Pixie giveaways and the Boff bonus giveaway will be coming shortly as well. That's in our Facebook group. Okay, I want to do the last product or the last project. The that, that is the rest of the new stuff. Yes, I've, I've done all the rest of it. Yeah, hang on, yeah. Oh, good boss, do I get fudge now? I got I just want to give a quick shout out to Sarah Brown from the original Needle Felting UK group and if you're not a part of that group and you love felting go over there because obviously our group it's all about mum's makery and the projects and products and makes um, associated with mum's makery but Sarah Brown um, lovely lovely Sarah Brown who's my favorite Sarah I got two parcels through the post yesterday. One was from Sarah Summerton, and uh, one was, um, which is our crew, Sarah, and uh, the other was from Sarah Brown. And Sarah Brown sent me a, um, a, a box of um, flapjack cakes from her favourite bakery with a little note that says, and there's a post in the group, um, and it said, um, have, a, have a lovely Christmas in June. I was like, oh, thank you very much. That's very nice. Sarah, our Sarah, on the other hand, sent me this. Warning, may contain budgery gas and or glitter. <laughs> this is the type of thing that I get in the post from the pixies. <laughs> Surprise, dun, dun, dun. So it's, oh, look at this. It's, I have opened this before. 
um, mainly because I folded over the Sarah's address <laughs> on the paper. <laughs> Don't want to give that out live. Um, Booper Christmas. Thank you, Sarah. That's absolutely amazing. I love it. I love all things boop. Um, I've got my, we've got booper fish and I made Sarah make me a Santa booper fish, <laughs> which I can't really hold. There we go. <laughs> Santa booper fish. <laughs> so he's going to go in the, um, in the, the booper bowl, the bowl of boops. There's a lot of boops around here. I've got more boops coming in part two. <laughs> okay, so I have a very special project um, to bring you guys. And it's been, it has been a labor of love. And it's taken me a while because there are a lot of elements to it. And no, it's not a Dougie. Are you ready? It's a festive Christmas centerpiece and you get everything everything that is in that you see there you are getting and that includes the pot and the ribbon the berries the pine cones um it's an amazing kit and it's taken me a little while to put it together <laughs> and me being me <laughs> When you, or if you purchase um, this project, you will get the private tutorial info, which will come as a digital download when you make your purchase. The video info is also in the kit. However, please be aware that the video for this is not currently live because there's still a couple of tweaks that I want to do on that video. Um, and I don't like putting stuff up not quite as I like it. So when you um, when you get the information, there's just a placeholder video at the moment. However, that video and that link and that password will remain current when I upload the new video, um, which will be how to make all of the elements. And it is chocker block full. Um, there's a sort of a nod to a Christmas peony and you get all of the templates as well. There are two templates for the peony. There's three templates for the eucalyptus. There's a calyx template for the cotton buds and there is a template for making this spruce. And I won't lie, the spruce was the one that kind of did me in the most because it was trying to work out how to do it um but i'm happy to say um i think i can call that uh jobs are good and, and oh the pin is going a bit wrong there we go uh, there we go and you get everything there the whole lot the the tin the foam that goes in the tin which holds all of this arrangement and i take you through step by step each part um how to make each part how to make each variation of each part um so as you can imagine there was a lot of coordination um in creating this and i actually have no idea how long the tutorial is i think it's a good couple of hours plus um and it's just i i wanted to sort of do something a bit different and put a lot of elements together in a project rather than just having a tulip or um, you know a poppy um, I wanted to try and do something that was a bit more uh, as an arrangement now the price for this kit is $44.99 the price is normally $49.99 but for our Christmas in June special um, it is $44.99 and that's uh, the price that it will remain for the entirety of this month this project is limited, um, it's seasonal, so it only comes out for Christmas in June and your proper Christmas, uh, but it is also limited in number. So um, it is when they're gone, they are gone for this year. Um, it's, I have absolutely and thoroughly enjoyed making this. 
Um, you also get a massive PDF with this as well, which gives you the build list. So, um, you know, for example, the eucalyptus making that that sprig of the eucalyptus, you use this amount, um, these these number of leaves and it gives you everything laid out. But of course, you can also go completely off piste with it and take it any way that you want. You then also have all of these elements to make individually for other things as well. Um, the templates for this project are not available separately. Um, they are only available as part of this kit. So uh, you won't find them separately on the website. So that's our big festive launch for um, 2021, we're in 2021, <laughs> yes we are. <laughs> Splendid. So um, I think, is, is I'm just going to check my stuff. I think I've covered everything that's down here. Have I? Oh, I do. Oh. <laughs> Come closer. Come closer. In fact, actually. Come closer. Right. So in uh, August, for those of you who have visited the calendar, um, you might see that there is something coming in August. And it's special. So it's something we've not done it before, so it could go great. <laughs> or it could go horribly wrong. We've no idea, but it's going to be awesome no matter what. It's going to be a lot of laughs. Um, the Lady Moth is having a mum's makery takeover. <laughs> we normally don't like moths in, in the makery, but we're making an exception. <laughs> um, she is going to be joining us, I believe it's the 28th of uh, August, and it's going to be uh, a complete takeover of the makery by the Lady Moth, who is a phenomenal um, needle felter and teacher. And she is going to be making an entire make with us live um, here at the makery. And I am so excited because I know what it is. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what it is today. Uh, tune in to our Craftanoon, um, which is on the 26th of June. And that's when we're going to be making those uh, wonderful humbugs. As you saw, there is a humbug kit if you want to make, uh, if you want the kit, but you don't have to have the kit because there is a link of materials that you can use because the idea with the Craftanoons is that they are more of a social element so you don't have to have the kit you can bring your own stuff heck you can bring your own project you don't even have to be felting the same thing we are it's just about hanging out and having some felty fun um christmas in june has somewhat extended um as we have been invited to take part in the five days of christmas event over at hotanda and for those of you who um who caught the the last show when we released the poppy um they have invited us to be part of the uh christmas in their the sort of christmas five days of christmas in july so um there will be a little something new coming for their show which we we have given them exclusively um but we will also be taking a few of our normal regular goodies i'm sure that the show will be uh, a great laugh so do tune in to us on hochanda no it's not Hochanda. i've got to stop calling it that it's crafted. it is called the craft store now <laughs> i did one show with them and they changed their name and everything <laughs> the craft store i do apologize the craft store by hochanda um and more will be coming that, uh, about that across social media so just finally, um, do bear in mind that the boss bonus giveaway, fingers crossed if technology is with me today, will be going live um, at some point during the break of the two shows. Um, we've got a show and share for you in the Facebook group. And if you're not already, then please do hop over to our YouTube channel. That's uh, youtube.com slash mumsmakery and do subscribe to our channel it helps our channel grow and then we bring you more and more content over on the channel as well okay i think that that is it is it 
Oh no, apparently it's not it. I'm posting the vlog Oh, I do. Yes. Okay, so <laughs> I'm trying to get done so I can get the cake because she's got the cake. <laughs> she always has the cake. So, um, yes, please do um, give me a few days to get the post out after this event. Normally, we post out on a Monday and a Thursday. We will be doing post uh, pretty much every day over the coming week. Um, so if you if your stuff doesn't get posted out, you know, straight away, please bear with me. I will send everything first class so you will get it ASAP. Uh, but do give me a couple of days um, because the events, the events tend to go a bit crazy and um, coordinating everything, <laughs> especially when you've got the pixies. <laughs> So yeah, if you if you do bear with me, um, I will be posting out sort of Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday um, to make sure that everything gets out to you ASAP. Are you make the hat in the next no, we don't. We're not the surprise kit. Um, we don't actually do a make for that live on air. That is 0 0.5 of a gram um, to make one half of a hat you can then make two felt them together do them in whatever color ways you want but that's not a lie I, I don't have time to do three live makes the live make in the second half or rather the second show um will be kit number two it is a templated make so you will need to have um you will need to have the kit for that we've also got other stuff that we're doing um in the next show as well and um the template in this kit is called a star flake and it makes what you see behind me. It makes these star flakes and it also makes these stars and it also makes all of these different shapes as well. It's an insanely versatile template and I absolutely love it. Can't wait to show it all to you and um, I think that that is everything that we've got in this hour and you're not what, what that she's drinking my coffee now she's oh you're making me a coffee you go oh, she's gonna make have i done a good job can i stick her okay okay right that's it from me then apparently i get a sticker i get coffee and i get cake so on that note i will see you later on Thank you.